Uh, moving on into our next story here. So we had talked about a while ago this rumor from Jeff Grubb that Destiny was getting a mobile game and that it was going to be revealed soon in the title that was Destiny Rising. Now, of course, previously, and long before we talked about anything related to this, um, Bungie had already done something with NetEase. We knew that there was going to be something eventually. It was just a matter of when and what it was going to look like. But we just got the official reveal trailer, as well as um, a little like developer kind of thing where they go a little more in depth. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about my thoughts on this. We're just going to be showing here the original reveal trailer uh, rather than the developer stuff. But what are your thoughts on this? So, yeah, I definitely was surprised by the quality of the game as like visually speaking, like it definitely looks very good. And granted, A, I know that mobile gaming has definitely come far enough to the point that we are, that we have games like Resident Evil 8 uh, running natively on cell phones. Uh, but also another thing is that I just have not done anything mobile gaming related in eons <laughs> uh but so i'm definitely surprised at how good it looks um i'm partially just like from an outsider's perspective since i haven't played destiny i'm just like curious as to how i mean how much has changed i know that they said on one hand that the story is set in an alternate universe from the main destiny game so i understand it's not gonna be a faithful one-to-one -one. I don't know as far as the gameplay if things have, or at least sort of like, I guess, uh, the interaction, I'll say, if it's different because this, on one hand, as far as like meeting with other care, other players and just sort of meeting, going to other worlds, it kind of seems to me like it was sort of like an MMO in that regards. And I don't know if that's something that is from the main Destiny games are not. Uh, so if it is different, then I find that interesting that they would go in that direction. Granted, for a mobile game, I would feel that it would be more relevant in that regards, uh, just because if you're playing online on, a, on like a cell phone for mobile gaming, I feel like having that social connection via MMO is better or easier than just maybe getting into a match with other people and uh, doing something like that. Uh, one thing that I also thought was interesting, because uh, Destiny's an FPS, correct? Correct. Yeah, so I thought it was interesting that the game that this one you can be in first person or third person. I thought that was interesting um, that they would have that. I mean, granted. One reason it could be is, you know, just so you could show up, see your skins and, you know, <laughs> that would be one definitely a good reason as to why. Um, and also, you know, just how they don't necessarily have a pure classes like you do in Destiny. I thought that was also interesting, which I think would allow you to have some more variety. Now, granted, you know, when uh, we talked before about how the newest expansion for Destiny 2 was going to have something where it wasn't a sh where you didn't have it. A straight up class system and you can sort of blend things to your own play style um, but to definitely have something that in this game where it is no class system whatsoever or no strict class system also seems interesting as well um, now that being said just looking at some of the gameplay footage from the developer video I don't know how it feels to play you know, a FPS on a phone, which is just a touch screen. Um, I, I don't know how, how that would feel. It, it, it definitely, I mean, from the last time I did something on any sort of, any sort of mobile gaming on a touch screen, I know granted it's come a long way, but I just know it, it was not the best thing in the world. So I'm, I'm I'd be very curious to see what that's actually like, but I mean, I probably won't end up playing it, but I'm, it definitely is interesting, though, to see this development coming. 
All right. Well, uh, first thing I want to note before I get into my general thoughts on this, um, it does have controller support for it. So, um, like I noticed one in the developer video, they actually showed one person with the controller attachment on their phone playing that way. So that's very good because um, even though it obviously control, at least the basic Destiny always controls way better with mouse and keyboard, controller still works really well. Uh, for me, it's just, it's hard to go back to controller most of the time because it just, it feels a lot like movement. Well, maybe not movement, but um, aiming feels a lot slower with a controller than it does with, with a mouse. So um, that being said, I'm super intrigued by this. Um, as I said, I did sign up for the, for the closed alpha. I don't know if I'll actually get in. The alpha starts on November 1st. So if I get in, I will definitely be playing it and I will report back on how it is. But yeah, I'm just, for me, the hardest part about this is I don't, I'm not entirely convinced it's gonna perform well. Like that's that's the part that I have the hardest time with because it looks good. Like the graphics look great. It looks like a Destiny game. I mean, there's some animations where I was like, okay, this feels a little wonky. I mean, it doesn't feel quite, it doesn't look quite right. But then there's most of the time it, it looked just fine, especially when, when in the first person perspective. And um, the base Destiny is first person most of the time. Uh, except when you're wielding like swords and um, when you're on like your sparrow, which is basically like a, a land speeder from, or not land speeder. Um, oh gosh, what are they called? Maybe they are land speeders from Star Wars. Because that they're, they're very clearly inspired by things, the, the ones that they ride around during um, Return of the Jedi. So the, the, oh, the sparrows yeah. in the game are heavily are very clearly inspired by those vehicles from Return of the Jedi. Um, and those are, you know, a normal thing that have been there since Destiny 1. And then there's, you know, while you're in your super, typically, you will be in a third-person perspective. Which, you know, like they showed the, the Scythe gameplay and that sort of thing with the Warlock equivalent um, that was... That's a new super. In fact, all the supers that they showed were new. Um... But it was, it was, you know, third person for that. Um, I do believe, though, that you're right, that it is supposed to be, you can actually choose between first and third person, which definitely is interesting. Um, the one thing I'm wondering with that is how much aim assist there's going to be. Because, I mean, aim assist is pretty generous on consoles, which is why I actually thought Destiny felt great on a console. Uh, just not as good as mouse and keyboard on PC. But... Um, yeah, especially with the touch controls, like the touch controls, I mean, I'll try them just to see how they are, but I'm definitely not going to use them. That's why I have my, my attachable controller for, um, speci specifically for my phone that, that works great. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a good size, um, actually has, you know, more or less full size joysticks. Uh, in fact, I think they're nearly identical yeah they're 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 a little bit smaller than the ones on the actual like xbox series controller but they're still better than the typical mobile game controllers where they're the size of the switch joy con joysticks um mm -hmm. and actually i guess the size might be pretty similar but these ones are higher up like they have and more travel distance and that sort of thing than the Switch joysticks do. And um, they also are uh, convex so that you have a better place to put your thumbs. Um, either way, I'm cautiously optimistic about this game. Now, I know it's going to have some egregious microtransactions, most likely, because NetEase does that. They did that with Diablo Immortal. Um, which was a solid game overall. I mean, is is solid despite the egregious microtransactions. It's still completely playable without using them, though. And uh, this one, one thing that I found interesting is that they've introduced a new weapon class, 
um, specifically that is a like a, a new level of gear because previously the highest level you could get was exotic and that's where you have the, the most fancy schmancy uh, guns that are like unique in appearance and in function like they have specific unique perks for each one and they have this new um, I'm trying to remember what the, the name of the new class is that they're calling it a mythic I think that's what it was so I imagine though that more likely than not you are going to be able to pay to win like crazy on this game um, now in terms of the multiplayer aspects uh, Destiny 1 it has most activities you can do three player matchmaking um, including like strikes and that sort of thing uh, PvP stuff, which I don't think there's going to be any PvP in this game, but uh, that is um, that is six players, and supposedly, from my understanding, with Destiny Rising, there's going to be six player strikes, which previously the only the only like big act. Well, I should say there was not six players for. Um, strikes previously because strikes were only three players and so that part is interesting and like I'm super curious about how the game is going to run with a bunch of people in a party at a time because like when you have a single person I could see yeah that makes more sense but once you start adding in other people that does make it more demanding and I don't know. I just, I need to see more. Most of all, I just want to see how it actually runs on my phone. And my phone's only a couple years old, so theoretically, it should still run pretty well on mine. Um, and mine was you know, top of the line a couple of years ago. For a Samsung device, at least. So, theoretically, it should be able to run pretty well. But, like, the big thing for me is I want it to be 60 frames. And I'm okay with sacrificing a bit on the visuals if I can get 60 FPS. But I'm just not sure. Um, I know playing Destiny 2 on my Steam Deck, which of course ha is certainly more complex than this game is going to be. The best I could do on average was 40 frames per second. And that was with significantly reduced visuals. And even sometimes I would still get some stutter. Um... But, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I want to see more. I, I, I think that it has potential to be really good for a mobile game. And I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. <clears throat> I mean, I could totally see myself trying to play this one as a mobile game. But it could also just be exactly like Diablo Immortal was, where I play it for a little bit as like an appetizer and then I'm like, I just want to play Destiny 2 instead because Destiny 2 is far deeper and there's so much more you can do and of course a lot more customization and a lot more weapons and so on and so forth. So I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else really. I just, I, I need to get my hands on it and see what I think from there. I know that I'm not spending a single dime on it <laughs> because even if I really enjoy it, I spent way too much money on Destiny and ended up, and I basically have not touched the game since March, I think, probably. Um, and I, st I still need to finish the, the campaign from the last expansion. Never mind all the other stuff that's come out since then, including bringing back a Destiny 1 exotic very recently in in the new dungeon but anyway um one quick question uh i know you said i know and i know it mentioned when the closed beta was going to start did they say when they were going to select or notify people if they had been selected for the don't think so um because i mean this game only got announced a couple days ago um, but or actually it wasn't, it might have been yesterday now that I think about it, but it's definitely a situation where, uh, I'm sure that, well, you know, there's, there's a couple weeks before 
it starts up. So yeah, true. we'll just have to see. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other thoughts? No, sir.